Well, summer is over, believe it or not. Now is actually the time to be doing the most of your planting. But it's hard to know how to best prepare your yard for next year, which is why we're taking care of you. All month long, we are guiding you through the process with the help of Lanaha Nurseries. And joining us this morning on how to get your yard in shape is Helen Hubbard. Good morning, Helen. Good morning. Good to have you back again. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so we are talking about how it is the perfect time to plant. Explain to us why is that? Yes, well, they say that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. <laughs> Second best time to plant is now. And um, that's for a few different reasons. So we have our cooler nighttime temperatures, which makes it um, a lot less stressful on the plant material. And we have warmer ground temperatures, and that's going to be more inviting for that root development. Also, because we don't have that impending doom of summer still yet to come, it's just a nice, easy slide into winter dormancy. So now that we know it is the best time to plant, what do we plant? So uh, trees, shrubs, perennials, any of those can be planted at this time. Um, when it comes to planting, uh, there's a few things that I just want to touch on, uh, common mistakes when it comes to planting. Uh, so obviously, first step is digging your hole. Always make sure that you dig your hole much wider than what it is in the bucket. Break up that soil really well. If you need to add like compost and perlite uh, to make it, but that'll make it so that the water can drain better, the roots have an easier time growing. Um, and then taking the plant out of the bucket um, and making sure that you break up the roots. A lot of times people are afraid of uh, messing with those roots too much, thinking that it's going to be harmful to the plant. But we need to retrain those roots to grow out and down for their moisture. So I always joke and say, don't be nice about it. Really tear those roots apart. Um, and then when you're planting, make sure that you don't plant it any deeper than what it is in the bucket. Um, and then another common mistake with planting is overwatering. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that uh, we're not necessarily paying attention to the foliage to determine if we need to water. And you sure. definitely don't look at the calendar. It's all about physically checking the soil. Sure. So you can get something long and skinny like a piece of rebar or a screwdriver, uh, something that you can stab and you know probe into the soil sure. and wiggle it around. It's like checking a cake. If the dirt sticks to it, then it's wet. If it doesn't stick to it or you have a hard time probing, then it's dry and it's time to water. Uh, sprinklers are usually not a deep enough watering for them. We recommend hand watering you know, with a watering wand directly under the shrub to ensure that you're moistening those roots. And of course, also checking with utilities to make sure you are not digging oh, into anything yes. that's very important, detrimental. Yes, absolutely. It's, it is the law. Before you dig, you have to call. Yeah, sure. And then talk about, you know, obviously knowing the specific shade and, and things like that. Uh, some plants are not going to work in your front yard if it's being covered somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and if you come out to the nursery, any of our expert garden staff would be able to help you out with, you know, finding the right plant for the right place. Sure. Now, before we let you go, where can viewers fly, uh, find more information about your website? Oh, yeah, they can go to uh, lanahawnurseries.com. We have um, uh, our information resource guides are on there, lots of really useful information. They can always call or stop out. We do have our Harvest Fest Festival coming or Harvest Fest coming up next weekend, the 14th and the 15th. So it's a great opportunity to meet with our expert garden staff and get your fall planting underway. Perfect timing. All right, Helen, thanks for joining us this morning. Yes, thank you.